reducing freezing. Big weight shift, heels to the bottom. All right, let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two more warm-up exercises. We're going to do 10 flicks. So make a big, tight fist. Flick your fingers out to be nice and wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. We're going to move through our hamstrings. You're going to step one foot forward, one foot back. Sit your bum back. Swing your arms forward until you feel a stretch in the back of the leg. Then switch to the other side. A little stretch through the hamstrings. Sweep your arms down towards the ground. This is a great one for balance. If you need a wall behind you to feel safe or a chair beside you, go right ahead and use those. That's it. Just warming up the backs of those legs. Getting some dynamic stretching in here. Well done, guys. Keep it up. Once you feel a little warm, if you can sink a little bit lower, give that a try. Sweep a little bit lower towards the ground. Five more. Four. Three. Two, one. All right, we're going to get right into our workout now. So as I said, we are going for speed today. That means by the end of 45 seconds, you should be huffing and puffing and working really hard. All right, I want to make sure that you are breathing heavy and that you are working really, really hard to up your speed on these exercises. The 45 seconds of recovery is your chance to slow down and just do some active movement as your heart rate returns back towards a lower rate, okay? Number one for our speed round, we're going to do overs and backs. You're going to go over, over your line, back, back. Now, when you're going backwards, this is a great chance to practice backwards stepping, which is often a big challenge in Parkinson's. You want to reach your foot back behind you. What you never want to do is have your shoulders go behind your heels. That's going to cause you to stutter step and potentially lead to a fall. So when you're stepping back, reach that foot back behind you. Notice that my heel is behind my shoulder. That's what I want you to focus on. All right, 45 seconds on the clock. Forward, forward, back, back. As fast as you can. Ready, set, go. Forward, forward, back, back. Reaching your leg behind you. If you need to slow this down, step, step, reach, reach. Step, step, reach, reach, okay? If you can do it fast, I want you to go to the fastest level you can manage. Whatever your fastest speed is, I'm going to try and go a teeny bit more, okay? That's it, guys. Back and forth, nice and quick, light on those feet. You got it. Once you get used to the rhythm, try and up that speed, okay? If you've got a metronome or some music in the background, that's a great way to keep your feet moving nice and quick. Awesome job. This is the hard part, and then you get recovery, so keep going. Right through that 45 seconds, over and back, try not to slow down, and there's the beat. Well done. We're going to recover now, we're going to do a slower version, so you're going to go step, 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 step. We're going to really work on that backward step, all right? Here we go. 45 seconds, nice and easy to recover, reach back. When you're reaching back, again, really focus. Is your heel getting behind your shoulders, or are you starting to tip and your shoulders are going back first? Take your time here, this is your recovery, your chance to really work on that technique. Forward, forward, back, back. If you want to make it harder, when you step forward, now try and lead back with the opposite leg. To give both legs a chance to practice. Okay? Reaching back. Very well done, guys. Good work. Forward, forward, back, back. And if you want to, you can alternate feet. Very well done. You got two seconds left of recovery. <laughs> Good work. Next one up, we're going to do our wide, our, sorry, our 10 feet switches, and then a recovery is going to be a wide squat T-bar twist. I will explain those as we go, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get one foot on either side of the line. We're going to switch our feet. Option one, jump switch, okay? Option two, step switch. Option in between, little hop switch. What we're going to do is we're going to do 10 switches, and then we're going to do a duck. So we use ducks a lot in our boxing class to help with very quick activity. And then this is also a great way to practice a squat with good posture. So once you've done 10, you're going to duck. Your hands are going to come up to protect your face. You're going to squat down with your chest nice and high. If you have an opponent across from you, you sure definitely don't want to drop your head down because you're not going to be able to see your opponent. So this is a great way to make sure that you're squatting with your chest up, hands in front. All right? 10 switches and a duck. I'm going to call out the duck. If you 
haven't done 10 switches, that's fine. Just duck at whatever number you're at. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Duck. Okay, keep going. Duck. That's it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to switch to the other foot. And duck. Well done, guys. At your pace. Okay, whatever pace you want to work at, try and make sure your opposite foot is forward every time. So do your ten. Switch your feet. And then duck. Good. Nice low squat. Chest is high. Moving those feet nice and quick for those switches. And duck. Whenever I say duck, I want you to duck. Let's get one more in. Eight, nine, ten, duck. Good work. All right, we're going to cover with a nice T-bar twist. So arms are going to come up to 90. Feet are going to go wide. Squat your bum down. Don't let your knees fall in. Push them back. Arms up. We're going to rotate. Turn, turn. Ready, set. Go. Big turns. So you should be hopping and puffing from those switches. We're using this as a recovery, but also a great way to get some trunk rotation in. Okay? If you feel like you need a break, just shake those legs out. Give them a rest. Get back into your position. And keep going. Big twist through that trunk. Keeping your arms at 90 degrees to try not to let them come together. Okay? Open up. Big T-bar twist. That's it. Good work, guys. We got 10 seconds to go of your recovery. Almost there. Keep those knees pushing out. Deep breaths into the lungs. Make sure you're exhaling all your air out. Good work. There's your recovery, all right? Next round, we're going to go into um, some big arm swings. This is a really, really great exercise to work on your gait. We know in Parkinson's our arm swings disappear very quickly and very early on. So what we're going to do is you're going to get into a nice wide stance. We're going to really exaggerate our arm swings. And I mean really exaggerate. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Hop. Face another direction. One, two, three, four, five. Hop. Face another direction. Five. Hop. Five. Hop. So we're going to go all the way around and then back the other way. Okay? Big exaggerated swings. 45 seconds on the clock. I'll explain the recovery when we get there. Ready, set, go. Big swings. One, two, three, four, five. Hop switch. Two, three, four, five. Hop switch. Keep going. All the way around. Nice big swings. I want them fast and I want them big. So really exaggerate. Go to what you think your full range is and then go another little bit past that. You might not be moving quite as big as you think. Okay, big hop and switch. That's it. Big swings. Big hop and switch. Well done, guys. Keep it up. Nice, big, exaggerated swings. Just like those flips. You want your fingers nice and wide. Really helping you to drive the power through those arms. Well done. Only 45 seconds of speed. There we go. There's your beat before you know it. Now, for our recovery, we're going to do nice, big, exaggerated swings we're going to try and let our arms really weight us as we go. So rather than doing this with a robot, I'm going to let my arms go heavy and I'm going to use my momentum to help them swing. Okay, off we go. 45 seconds of recovery arm swings. Big exaggerated movements. No more hopping for now. Give your legs a break. Let those arms go heavy and let your trunk rotate. So try not to keep your trunk staying forward. I want you to let your trunk move. Let your body rotate. Let everything go. And use the momentum. It will help you a lot. Momentum is your friend in this scenario. Not in everyone, but in this one, yes. So let those knees bend. Let those arms get a big swing. Very well done. Good job, guys. Almost there. So just to give you a heads up as we're doing this, our next exercise is going to be on the floor. Okay, so we'll give you a little break to get down to the floor. Good chance to get some water if you need it as well. All right? So we'll give you a quick little break here. Down to the floor you go. We're going to go on to all fours to start. All right? I'll meet you down there.
Okay, so now that we're down on our all fours, we're going to work on our shoulder cap. So this is going to be our speed exercise, and I'm going to show you three different levels for this, okay? Level number one, I'm in a box position. So you can see my knees are underneath my hips, and my, my arms are stacked underneath my shoulders. You don't want to do that here. Option number two, I'm going to walk my knees back and push my hips forward, okay? And then I'm going to do it from here. Option three, I'm going to come onto my toes, I'm going to keep my weight on my hands, and I'm going to do it from here, okay? The only position that doesn't work is with your bum back. You take all the weight out of your arms and you lose the exercise. So I want you to come in either box, kneeling plank, or high plank, and what we're going to do is we're going to tap our shoulders as fast as we can, alternating one side to the other, okay? So it looks like this, in whatever position you're in, you're going to do shoulder taps, I'll cycle through all three so you can see what that exercise looks like in all three. Ready, set, go. Tap those shoulders, you want to go nice and quick, tapping those shoulders, shifting your weight side to side, getting those hands moving fast. Okay, I'll show you all three positions from the front, keep going. Shoulder taps, okay, it looks like this in all fours. On your knees, you lean forward with your bum. Tap, 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 keep going. This should feel really, really hard on those arms. Chest is lifted, on your toes looks like this. Quick taps to those shoulders. Very well done, make sure your back is flat and not arched, and not in the air. Nice flat back. Keep it up guys, whatever level you're at, you can start high and work your way down as you fatigue, that's okay. Right, if you need to drop your knees, stick your bum forward, that's fine. If you need to come into your plank, into your box, that's fine too. And rest, well done. Okay, very good job. We're gonna do our recovery here. We're gonna stay on all fours. You're gonna reach up to the sky, rotate your trunk, reach all the way under, get your head to the ground, pause for a second, come up, do the other side. Reach all the way up, under like somebody's pulling that hand, your head goes to the ground. Ready, set, off we go. Big reach, big reach under. Back up, other side. This is your recovery, so please take your time, breathe and rest. You should feel no pain during these exercises. You should feel tired and like you're working hard, and your muscles should be fatiguing, but there should be no sharp shooting joint pain, right? This should feel like a nice big stretch. Well done, guys, keep it up. Use that nice 45 second recovery to get some length through those muscles. Big stretch down. Okay, you can't come quite that far. That's fine. Just keep your head off the ground and reach. Okay, whatever level works for you. Last one. And back. Very well done. Okay, we're going to stand up for our last exercise. We're almost done. One more to go. And then, in case I didn't mention it, we're repeating these through all the way again. <laughs> okay, up we go. We're going to get into a wide squat and we're going to get our arm, do our arm pulses back. So you're going to get into a nice wide squat. Arms are going to come out to 90 degrees. We're going to pulse the arms backwards, okay? I want you to imagine that you've got a big tub of molasses that you're in, and you have to really push back to move that molasses back, okay? I want you to be pushing through a thick liquid to push those arms back so you have some resistance, all right? I'll show you the next the recovery one when we get there. Ready, set, off you go. A little squat, arms push back, nice big pulses, okay? Really pushing back behind you, okay? Pushing through that resistance, that thick fluid that you're pushing back against, okay? Imagine that it's not air, but something that really is giving you some resistance. Those arms should get tired really quick, and what I want you to try and do is not drop them. Look at your arms. Are they starting to drop down here? Bring them back up. Okay, fingers are wide. Really great exercise for posture. This strengthens the back of your shoulders and helps you with that upright posture that we're always looking for in Parkinson's, okay? Big pulses. You got it, guys. I know those shoulders are burning. And rest, good work. You're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them to your inside of your knees, and you're gonna help with your hands to push your knees out. This is your recovery exercise. You're gonna drop one shoulder in and rotate your trunk. Try and make sure that knee doesn't fall with you. And then we're gonna go to the other side, okay? 45 seconds, off we go. So, if you're doing these exercises and you're thinking, oh, these are confusing, or I need more practice, I can't do them, do not fret. We are going to go through these all over again. This is your practice round. Okay, we're going to do them one more time through 
Now that you've had the explanation and you've done the exercises once, that patterning should be a little bit easier and give you a chance to up that intensity just a little bit more. Okay? So we're going to finish off this one. I'm going to give you a water break, then we're going to go back to the beginning, and we're going to do it once more through. I know you can do it, so stay with me. That's it. Well done, guys. Big shoulder drops for that recovery. Keeping those knees pushing out, and rest. All right, back to the beginning. Now is your chance to grab a drink of water, rest for a minute if you need me, if you need to, sorry, and then join me back here, okay, for round two. You guys are doing an awesome job. Well done for getting through round one. Let's finish it off with round number two. Take your water break if you need it, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we are back. Hopefully have a sip of water and you're ready to go. This is round two. We're going to repeat all the same exercises over again right through from the beginning. So starting with 45 seconds over and back on our line, working on our backward stepping pattern. Heel goes behind your shoulders. Ready, set, go. Over and back. Okay, if you started with your dominant leg last time, now I want you to try and lead with your opposite leg. This is going to feel a little funny and a little bit harder. All right, nice and quick. You've done this exercise once before now, so let's up that speed. Remember, you can always step slower if you need to, but I want you to go to your max speed. That's it. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Push, 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 push. Remember, it doesn't challenge you. It doesn't change you. If you're huffing and puffing and working hard, you're doing it right. Come on. Almost there. You got this. Fast feet, fast feet. In three, two, three. One, rest. Good. We're going to recover right into our recovery. 45 seconds. Over, over, back, back. Nice and slow. Okay. Working on that backward step. Heel goes behind the hip. Okay. Again, this position is a very, very good one to work on. Okay. Help reduce falls, risk. Improve your backward stepping. Works on your glute strength too, which is a bonus. Okay. Keep it up. Nice recovery. Take some deep breaths. Clear out those lungs. Water if you need it. An active recovery to keep our system moving. And then we're going to go on next to our 10 switches and ducks. Okay. I know I said 10. Technically it's 11 because I want you to have the opposite foot first every time you're ducking. All right. Here we go. 10 switches, 11 switches, and a duck. All right. Ready, set. Go, switch those feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Duck down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the other foot. Duck down. If you need to step, just step. Okay? Working at your own pace. If you get to six by the time I say duck, then just duck at six. That's okay. Okay? Duck. Keep going, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, duck. Well done. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch your feet, duck. I want you to imagine that I'm there swinging my hand over your head. Duck down underneath. Good job. All right? So we're going to do our wide squat and T-bar twist to recover. We're going to go right into it. Arms 90 degrees. T-bar twist. Okay? Again, Remember that this is on video, so if you ever need a break, you want to stop for a minute, you want to review an exercise and figure out what I'm talking about, pause the video, back up, check it out again, okay? It is at your convenience that you can take your time to figure out these exercises. If you want to do double the time, just keep going and pause the video, okay? That's it. Knees out, big twist. Trying to get that truck rotating around. Trying not to bring those hands together as we go. Deep breath in. This is your recovery, so make sure you're breathing. Well done, guys. So we're going to go into our next one, which is our swing. So we're going to do our big swings. Okay? We're going to hop and switch direction. 
exaggerate those arm swings. Ready, set, go. Five big swings, exaggerating those arm swings. Hop and switch. Use the momentum of those arms to help you hop around. It can't hop, no problem. Just step. Okay, keep it up, guys. Big arm swings and hop and switch. Okay, again, you may not even notice it, but even if you're early diagnosis, often those arm swings have disappeared from your walking pattern. And they're much more important than you think for moving your trunk and helping your feet move. So now's your chance to build them back up. Big swings. Round we go. That's it, guys. The fingers are wide. Back to center. That's our time. So now we're going to do our nice, big, exaggerated swings in center to recover. Off we go. So take your time. Look at your hands. Imagine that you're karate chopping something behind you and reaching high for something in front of you. So you get full range both of your back arm and of your front arm. Right? Often what I see is this. I want the back arm to go all the way back, front arm to go all the way front. Rotate that trunk all the way around to get that full range. Beautiful. Okay? That's it. I know you're doing a great job. Keep it up. I know you might be getting tired by now. That's a good thing, right? You're working hard. You should be tired. Your muscles should be burning. That means you're doing it right. Okay? Keep it up. Good work. So, we're going to go down to the floor. We've got two more sets of exercises in recovery left, and then you are done. All right? So, home stretch here. We're going to get down to the ground. We're going to do our shoulder taps, one of our toughest ones today, but then we're hitting the end zone. So, 45 seconds of shoulder taps. Get down to the ground, and we will meet you here and get started. All right, you should be in your all fours position now. We're going to get into our shoulder taps, remember, on all fours, on your knees with your bum forward, or on your toes, but never with your bum dropped. Okay, ready, set, and off you go. Shoulder taps, level one, okay, level two. Keep going whatever level you're at. If you want to start on your toes and you need to drop down halfway, that's fine. Start at whatever level you can manage and work your way from there. Okay? Tapping those shoulders, keeping the hips in line, not dropping them down. Well done, guys. You want your shoulders stacked over top of your wrists. So try and make sure you're not here. Okay? Shift forward. Tap, tap. Okay? Wider the feet, the easier it is. Narrower the feet, the harder it is. Okay? Ooh, that gets hard fast. Keep it up, guys. Level your way through your knees if you need. Okay, all fours if you need. Very well done. Okay, shake those arms up. That is a hard one. Work through your levels, okay? Participation, not perfection. Remember that. Now, we're going to come onto all fours and do our recovery. You're going to reach up, do a big twist with the trunk, reach under, and rotate through. Ready, set, off we go. Big reach up. Rotate that trunk. Look to your hand. All the way under, try and get your shoulder and your head to the ground. Stick your thumb in the air. And then the other side. Big reach. Okay, if you drop your bum down, this becomes quite hard. So stick your bum in the air. Let your head drop down towards the ground. Very well done, guys. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Take some big breaths here. This is your recovery time, so do with it what you need. Big reach. Exhale as you come down. That's it. You are killing it today, and we only got one more exercise after this. So you really are on the home stretch now. Okay? Finish it up. Follow it through right to the end. I'm going to give you a second to get up, and we're going to meet in standing for the last exercise of the day. Okay, so. Last exercise, we're going to go into a wide squat. We're going to do our arm pulses at 90. You're going to feel that burn in the back of the shoulders, hopefully, if you're doing it right. Shoulder drops, and then we're done. All right? Wide squat. 45 seconds on the clock. You can do this. Arms wide. Thumbs up. Pulse back. Open up your chest. Okay? What I always tell people when we're treating Parkinson's is we want to get long in the front and strong in the back, and that's to avoid this bent over posture. So open up in the front, get strong in the back, which is what these pulses are going to get us, okay? 
Keep those arms up, it's for a good reason. Feel the burn, burning is not bad. Okay, it means those muscles are working for you, the right muscles. Keep those thumbs pointing up and those fingers wide. Lift your hands, make sure they're not dropping. Come on, last little bit. You guys got this. Pulse it out till the very end and you get your shoulder drops and then you're done. And you've done your exercise for the day. You can go do all the other fun things that you want. So, hands to the knees. We're gonna keep our knees wide on this. So try and make sure the knee doesn't drop in. We're gonna keep the knees wide, pushing out with our hands. Drop one shoulder in and then go to the other side. Ready, set, go. Drop the shoulder and twist. So we're trying to get that nice trunk rotation here. Right, we know trunk rotation can be really limited in Parkinson's. And again, that's really important for your daily functioning. You need trunk rotation for proper walking mechanics. All right, it's all intertwined. Rotate that trunk, drop the shoulder and keep the knee pushing out, don't let it fall in. Big twist, take some deep breaths. If you ever find you're getting dizzy from coming up from here, just do it a little higher. Okay, dropping your head sometimes can make you a little dizzy. So if you need to stay upright, stay upright and just do the same thing. That's it guys, big stretch through. Very well done. And that's your time. So give yourself a big pat on the back because you earned it. All right, very well done. Thanks for working out with me today. We're gonna do a little bit of breathing for cool down and then I will let you go. But the bulk of the workout is done and all the hard work is done, so well done to you. All right, we're gonna take a big deep breath up. We're gonna reach our arms up over the sky. Big inhale and exhale. Let the arms drop. Okay, I'm gonna do that twice more. Big inhale. And exhale, let the arms drop. One more time. Big inhale. And exhale, let the arms drop. All right, we're gonna roll those shoulders back. So we're gonna go up and back. Okay, two, three, four, five, five more. Four, three, two, one. Last one, we're gonna get our feet wide. We're gonna let our arms go super floppy. I'm just going to swing and shift our weight side to side. All right. So again, you guys did a fabulous job today. Thanks for working out with me. All right. It's great to be here and exercising. Remember that if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. When it comes to Parkinson's, exercise is medicine. And it's all about participation, not perfection. Those are my three favorite sayings that I'm going to leave you with today. All right. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you back next week.